The work that I've got in Ripples on the Pond was originally um, commissioned by Glasgow Women's Library for their 21 Revolutions project um, and I made a series of 21 screen prints uh, which is called a variable edition so all the prints are different. I started looking at the spare rib magazines at Glasgow Women's Library um, because one of the first times I'd been into the library uh, I'd, I'd really noticed them visually in the space, they were on display. The library's old space in the Mitchell Library had these magazine racks and they were out, quite, quite a large number of them. Um, and I think I was just struck by their kind of real variety of different images on the covers and that they have quite a strong visual identity that appealed to me. They can, the magazine ran from uh, the early 70s to the early 90s so they had quite a different aesthetic throughout that period and I was drawn to that. I started looking at the library's total collection of the magazines and they have, I think, a full collection apart from the first issue. Um, and so I was leafing through different ones and then I came across the January 1980 copy, which was the month that I was born and that made a kind of instant personal connection to me. So I was looking through the magazine and um, there was a particular advert on it that said, I think it was like a trade union advert and it said cuts hit women hardest and it just seemed so resonant. It was like 2012, so 32 years later, that that was still a really relevant issue even though there had been such a passage of time throughout. So that then made me think, well, it would be interesting to look through the magazines and see if there were similar resonances either with things that were happening contemporarily or things that made me think of things in the past as well. I use fragments of text in quite a number of my works so, um, and often fragments of text that are found from other sources. So I have a process whereby I was kind of flicking through the magazines and either picking on things that were either really visually arresting or thinking about how those texts would sit outside of the context of the article and outside of the context of the magazine and appear as just that text on their own. I was really excited when Katie Bruce, the curator, said that they were going to use that uh, Ripples on the Pond as the title for the show, which was taken from one of my prints. I think it is one of the really, really interesting phrases from the series of prints because it could be interpreted in so many different ways and I think Katie Bruce talked about how the ripples of one artist's actions can lead to influences across other people's as well.